Hi, it's Peter. Welcome back to my channel. I also need to count the number of pair posed. First of all, you need to take the light unit off, remembering to remove the brake light so that you can get to the bolts that hold the mudguard on. And then you remove the four bolts that are holding on the uh, mudguard to the rear swinging arm. And then it should all come out of the way. So here I remove all the bottom panels so that I can get to the Saviton controller and release all the phase wires and also the hall sensor wires so that I can remove the rear wheel. I release the rear wheel nuts making sure the cable ties have been cut and I then have to support the bike and then remove the rear wheel. I've decided to change the tyre because it's only 600 miles old from new. Try and fit a 120 by 90 by 17. See how well that goes. So I'm just using some clamps to break the bead. After removing the air, of course. Um, I find that this, this lubrication is really, really good. It's tyre lube that's like in a gel form. Lube up both beads as well as you can, or tire rims, whichever you like to call them, and then it will come off easier. By lubing up the tire rims as well as you can when it comes to reseating the tire once you're pumping it full of air um, you, you'll find that it, the tire will seat with a much lower tire pressure these blue protectors are very very useful There she goes, pops all into place. And um, I now take out the bolts which are holding the side cover on for the motor so that I can count the pair of poles. And here we have the motor. Um, just pushed it out with a piece of wood on the floor so I don't damage it. Uh, I'm counting them there and there are 60 individual magnets so 30 pair of poles and there are the hall sensors and if you decide to put the motor back in just make sure your fingers are out of the way <laughs> always goes with a bang this tire i think it will it would make the bike look really good yeah it fails on the suspension shock absorber itself it actually rubs on the tire and it's still got two centimeters to go to meet the holes please tune in to part three to see what happens thanks for watching my channel please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe it's completely free